The Diesel Land Company introduces a test bench for testing unit injectors UIS and pump sections PLD by different manufacturers. The bench is fitted with an 11 kW engine and a 15 kW controlled frequency inverter. There are two flywheels installed on the engine shaft to ensure a stable rotation and sufficient rotation torque. The bench uses a universal cam box with a variable plunger travel with a working range from 10 mm for car UIS to 18 mm for pumping sections. On the front panel there are elements for switching the bench on and off, a boost pump with a working pressure of up to 18 bar, pressure control reducer and a pressure gauge. The pressure is measured the same way with the electronic sensor while displaying the process in the software. As an example, let's install a unit injector by Bosch 702002. We enter the injector number in the test plan selection window and open a test plan. Further in section CAM box info, we receive information on the plunger travel, the boost pressure, the preload and the clamping adapter number. Then we install the required plunger. Move the CAM box plate on the plunger travel, circa 15 millimeters, and install the locking pins. We install the unit injector to the selected clamp. Fix it and then put it on the cam box in the working position. We install the nozzle on the sprayer. Then, using the blocking device, BMH, we adjust the preload of the injector spring using the caliber. The bench is equipped with the protection system. The locking pin must be installed in the limit stop socket and the door must be closed. This ensures the safe work of the operator and prevents damaging the cam box when the blocking device is forgotten. Next, the boost pump gets turned on and the desired pressure gets selected. Then the drive starts up and then the test mode gets turned on. The software allows to perform tests both in automatic and manual mode with the adjustment of a pulse duration, rounds per minute, RPM and number of cycles. After passing all the testing modes, the drive stops automatically and the boost pump turns off. The test results are saved in PDF format and ready for printing. Also, for safe operation of the test bench, there are emergency stop buttons for the bench drive, on the front control panel and on the side. The emergency stop of the drive takes 1.5 to 2 seconds, starting from the maximum RPM. More detailed information is available from us or from our dealers. www.dieselland.ru